el anhelo más grande de los seres humanos es que algún día pueda cesar la guerra. Y podamos todos vivir en armonía los unos con los otros, pero también vivir en armonía con la naturaleza. I see the world going through a wrong direction actually. Big corporations, which are supposed to be like the main focus of upbringing the society, they are the one in the forefront destroying it more than anyone else. Yes. Okay, let's हमारी ड्यूटी बनती है कि हम नेचर के साथ अच्छा कॉम्बिनेशन करें क्योंकि नेचर ने हमें जो दिया है हम वापस नेचर को दें तभी हम एक स्वस्थ माहौल में इस मुंड कैपिटलिस्ट ने क्रियो मूर इंटर एस पेशोस ने क्रियो मूर इतना कि इन्हें बहुत ज़िन्दगी वही भी दो लाड और कि इन्हें बहुत ज़िन्दगी वही भी दो Yo creo que existe una, una necesidad muy grande de una visión alta, más alta del mundo, para que nuestra evolución como humanidad sea posible y verdaderamente lleguemos a la estatura, al tamaño al que estamos llamados. O sea, nuestro tamaño ni nos lo podemos imaginar, pienso todavía. If one looks to the current world situation, it almost seems sometimes like the humanity has created like an illusionary layer around the planet where we look at something which we call reality and we totally forgot about all of life that is around us. And so the global campus on one hand is also to break out of that illusionary world that we as humans have created or call reality. So we want to create education platforms where we learn comprehensive peace knowledge or knowledge about system change, one can also say. Students of the Global Campus are students from many different areas of the world. And this is also one idea of the Global Campus, to learn of how do we live in decentralized, autonomous, self-sufficient models and in very different areas of the world. So how do these models look like, for instance, here in Portugal? How, do, how does self-sufficiency look like in Colombia, in the rainforest? So the education we are offering in the global campus and developing together also with the people who are coming from different areas is mainly in the four areas like water, food, nutrition, energy and social knowledge. The movement of the globalization is that more and more water becomes privatized. We have to pay for water. Many, many people on this planet don't have access to clean drinking water. And based on the knowledge that we have gathered in the global campus, we believe that these catastrophes, the so-called natural catastrophes, are man-made catastrophes. What for me is this breakthrough in creating water landscapes that you create situations where the rainwater doesn't leave the land anymore. Everybody of you knows this situation in South America, in Israel, wherever you come from, these big problems in the big cities of these floodings, global problems that decentral solutions can be solved. Don't solve the problems in the big cities through making bigger and more straighter channels for the water. We solve these problems 
where they start and that's where the rain falls. Igual nosotros hemos hecho un daño que hace un par de años empezamos a reconstruir nuevamente. Pero no teníamos la experiencia de que con el agua se podía hacer algo como mucho más integrado en cuanto a reconstruir eh, los bosques y eso. El agua tiene mucha relación con, con el suelo, con la tierra. Y a veces nosotros tenemos problemas en nuestra comunidad de erosiones y de inundaciones. Pero nunca se nos había pasado por la mente que era el mal manejo que le habíamos hecho a los suelos. Y aquí pudimos aprender, o estamos aprendiendo, de que si le damos un mejor manejo a las aguas, a los bosques, pues vamos a mejorar en ese sentido, a disminuir esas erosiones y esos problemas que, que, que se empiecen ya a presentar en nuestras comunidades. So a lot of the power system we are facing today is based on the idea that there is scarcity in all the areas basically that you need to live. And with this, by controlling them, you can also gain power over others. And the idea of the global campus is to create a complete system change. Dezentrale, autonome oder autarke Modelle. Das allerwichtigste Thema, das ansteht. Techniken sind in Entwicklung. Es werden immer mehr Techniken kommen, je mehr Menschen Ideen miteinander tauschen. Aber das allerwichtigste ist, wie bringe ich von den Wissensträgern diese Erkenntnisse in die Gebiete, wo sie nötig sind. Man könnte sagen, man geht in alle Dörfer Afrikas oder Südamerikas. Da würden wir unser Leben nicht ausreichen. Also muss man Zentren schaffen. Attraktoren. Dort muss alles demonstriert werden, dort muss alles gelehrt werden, dort müssen die Techniken angepasst werden auf die lokalen Bedürfnisse, weil es überall etwas andere Biotope sind. Und das ist sehr spannend. Wir können uns imaginieren, hier in diesem Ort, es ist eine Rolle des Ventes, ein Mühne des Ventes, eine Rolle des Wassers, die kontinuierend dieses Bewegung und Também o que mais me fascina é saber que a gente usa uma energia que está sendo usada de forma errada. A energia que chega até a gente está tá acabando com o mundo e, e, e a gente paga por isso. Então a gente contribui na favela por isso. Então E, e, e o Uli mostrou um monte de possibilidades para a gente, não só com a energia, mas também com a água, a questão da água, do vento que a gente pode estar usando. E me fascina, eu sei que a gente vai poder fazer uma grande transformação lá. E poder é, usar isso de uma forma agradável e também que, que coopere com a natureza, pô, isso é fascinante. These ideas that garbage has energy in it, has nutrition in it, has the potential to clean our waste, to produce clean water from wastewater, means that Gaza the West Bank, Lagos, Nigeria, wherever you are, already has the solutions, just as we carry the bacteria within us. Every city has the solution within it, but is lacking the knowledge. And once an urban place has shown it doesn't need oil, it doesn't need coal, it doesn't need nuclear, and that it can survive on its own resources, that it's its own biosphere, War is effectively going to become obsolete. So this is solar hot water, and it's just being used to heat up the, the chamber. Yes, I would like to biogas project in Bangkok College. I would like to implement it in Bangkok College. It would be very good for Bangkok College, because we are making सोलर कुकर पे बनाते हैं लेकिन बायोगैस हमारे लॉन्ग लास्ट हो सकता है क्योंकि रोज किचन में वेस्ट होता है और ह्यूमन का वेस्ट मुझे जहाँ तक विश्वास है बैरफुट कॉलेज की जो महिलाएं हैं वो जरूर बायोगैस को इस प्रोजेक्ट को इंप्लीमेंट करेगी और बनाएगी या हंगर इज अ मैनमेड कैटेस्ट्रोफी एंड मैनी ऑफ़ द underdeveloped 
poor countries nowadays. We call them poor countries, but they were made poor. Sepp Holzer, one of the teachers of the Global Campus, he always says there are no poor countries. Now they are poor countries is because the system of power, the system of globalization which has exploited the people, which has destroyed the local and um, regional networks and has stolen a lot of the knowledge, of the ancient knowledge of the people of how to live by their land, how to cooperate with the land. And this is why now we face these huge catastrophes like hunger. Uh, the issue, is, the issue that's very much there is drought. Like now, the situation is very bad. It has never happened like that for the last six years. The drought is there, uh, desertification is coming up and there's no water. There's always conflict there among the tribes and generally there's no food. So I'm trying to change this scenario by teaching people the way they can grow more food to feed themselves, protect the environment, plant more trees. And, you know, hungry man is a hungry man, so if here is full, then everybody will be satisfied. Uh, es ist generell einmal alles verwendbar. Wenn man jetzt Problemstoffe hat, natürlich muss man versuchen, das beste Material, was ich habe, zu verwenden, weil es ja Gemüse ist, weil es ja ist. Uh, first things that gives me more energy to go on is when I see also other people are fighting hard to bring the peace. So it gives me more energy to do also do the same. I realize that I'm not alone. Also other people are working on the other part. So it's also my duty to work on the other part so that we all can fulfill this vision of bringing a peaceful world together. The knowledge of how to live in community, it's actually a very ancient knowledge which <clears throat> has very different values and our society is a lot based on a lot of separation between the people, between and you, you lost the contact to almost everything. And there is a knowledge of living in community, caring for the land you're on, that is very essential in the times to come. Also because I think in community, if we are able to put our knowledge, our hearts, our compassion together in real communities, we are able to create answers that go way beyond the potential of the individuals only. Also eine der größten menschheitlichen Wunden, die ich sehen kann, ist diejenige, dass wir menschheitlich unter der großen Hypnose großer zentraler Systeme stehen und jede Revolution, die sich befreien möchte aus der Kultur des Krieges, braucht eine Art von elementarem Gemeinschaftswissen. Ich denke, es ist ein gesellschaftlicher Kulturwandel, weg aus den Großsystemen, zurück zu autarken Modellen und autarke Modelle werden nur funktionieren können, wenn Gemeinschaftswissen vorhanden ist. El sufrimiento de la humanidad y del ser humano en particular, profundamente su razón es porque nos hemos separado de nuestra raíz, de nuestra fuente, nos hemos separado de nuestro ser esencial, eh, que está dentro de nosotros, fuera de nosotros, en cada ser que está en nuestro alrededor, en el aire, en el sol. Hemos perdido esa conexión y cuando perdemos esa conexión vivimos solo para nosotros mismos. Y vivimos en el miedo. Cuando volvemos a la, separa, a la unidad, volvemos a la reconexión, entonces vivimos en la confianza, vivimos en la paz y vivimos en la amor. I have very deep in my heart a very, very profound image of what it means to be a humane being and be humanity on this planet, what qualities these actually are. 
And one part of that is what Einstein said, that he said the thinking of the future has to make wars impossible. And to reconnect with this power where we use our thinking and our intelligence to make wars impossible and to come back to that uncorruptible heart. And this is my dream of humanity and I hope that the Global Campus will support to awaken that dream. Young people, I mean, they are the ones to bring change. So we have a duty as young people to work together and to bring change that we wish to see. Minha visão é que é de ter um primeiro modelo ali nesse bairro, que foi considerado o bairro mais violento do mundo, se criar um primeiro modelo, né, onde a gente viva com a natureza, de bem com a natureza, a gente viva de bem com as pessoas ali dentro. El proyecto que estamos desarrollando en México es el inicio de un biotopo de cura, desde sus raíces, desde sus primeros pasos. El reto de nosotros es continuar multiplicando esta sabiduría hasta que también nosotros podamos también construir en Colombia, en nuestra comunidad, una plataforma igual.